we want to use the distributive property to simplify the given expressions. The distributive property is given here below where we have a times the quantity b plus or minus c equals a times b plus or minus a times c. So we multiply each term inside the parentheses by a. So looking at our first example, we would read this as eight times the quantity x plus two y to apply the distributive property, multiply both terms inside the parentheses by eight. We'll have eight times x plus eight times two y. So again, eight times x plus eight times two y. Now we'll find the products. Eight times x would be eight x plus eight times two y, that would be sixteen y. These are not like terms. This is an x term and this is a y term. Therefore, we cannot combine the terms. Next, we have negative two times the quantity three a minus seven b. So we'll have negative two times three a minus negative two times seven b. So again, negative two times three a minus negative two times seven b. So negative two times three a is negative six a. Here we have minus negative two times seven b would be negative fourteen b. So while this is correct, we normally would not leave it in this form. Notice here we have minus negative fourteen b. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So it's better to write this as negative six a plus fourteen b. After doing quite a few of these, we probably won't show this much work. We could just think of this as negative two times three a for negative six a, and then for the next product, we can think of this as negative two times negative seven b, which would be positive fourteen b, and therefore we can just write plus fourteen b. Notice how by doing it this way, we wouldn't have to show as much work. I hope you found these two examples helpful.